Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at the top five things that you might not have known that you could do with your iPad. So here we go. All right, so these are gonna be five legit things that you might not have known you could do. They're not gonna be things like taking notes with the Apple Pencil and browsing the web and stuff like that that everybody knows you could do. These are gonna be five things that I found that I haven't seen a lot of videos on that not a lot of people may know that they can do with their iPad. I'm gonna have links down in the description to all the hardware that I talk about. And if you wanna see more details on anything that I go over, let me know down in the description. I'm just gonna do kind of a brief overview and I'm happy to do a more detailed video if you wanna see that. So let's get right into it. All right, item number one is video editing. And I'm not talking about just basic video editing. Sure, the iPad comes with iMovie and that works really great. You can load uh, files in and edit them, make your little movie and, and it's a pretty decent editor. But if you want to take it to the next level, there's software called LumaFusion. Now, this software is fantastic. It's a fully featured application. You could legit use your iPad as your main editing device. It handles 4K, no problem. I'm using it on a 2018 iPad, not the Pro, and it works beautifully. I load the video in using the camera connection kit and hook my SD card reader up to it load the videos right in and I can pull them into my timeline and start editing. It's got effects, color correction, you can do multiple layers, you can do multiple layers of video and sound and it's super smooth, plays back everything really well and then you can export directly to YouTube if you want to or save the file off to a file on your iPad and copy it off later. It's fantastic software and truly makes the iPad a legit editing device. So thing number two is a remote display for your computer. Now this will work with both Mac OS and Windows. I tried finding a way to do something similar in Linux, couldn't find anything. So unfortunately you're out of luck in that OS. But on Mac OS and Windows, there's several applications that'll let you do this. The one that I found that works the best is uh, Duet Display. After you get that set up, you hook up your iPad with the lightning cable to an available USB 3 or 3.1 port. Duet Display does its thing and it shows up as a separate monitor. You can go and set resolutions, you can span your desktop across, you can mirror it, you can treat it just like you would a normal monitor. This is a fantastic thing to have if you're on the go, if you're traveling and you use it on your uh, laptop, it's like having a second monitor when you're traveling because my workflow heavily relies on having two dual monitors. So if I can have that when I'm on the road, that is a plus. Item number three of the top five things you might not have known you could do with your iPad is to use it as an effects processor and amplifier for your guitar. Now every iPad comes with GarageBand and GarageBand is fantastic uh, music creation software. I'm not gonna go into details in it because that would be multiple videos to do that. But just real quickly, you can create sequences in it. You, it has virtual instruments like a virtual drummer and things like that, virtual guitar, but it also has an effect stack and simulation of different amplifiers. And you can hook your guitar to your iPad and play through those amplifiers. Now what you'll need to do this is you'll need the camera connection kit. You'll wanna get the one that has a USB 3 connection and then you just need an adapter that uh, plugs into your guitar, has USB on the other end and plugs into that. And then GarageBand will recognize it automatically. And then you can go through and just try out those different effects, try out the different amplifiers. It is so much fun. You can get a real crunchy sound. You can get a bluesy sound. I'm not at all a professional musician. I pick up my guitar every once in a while and pluck on it, but to me, all the effects sound really good for banging out a, a quick idea or recording, you know, an impromptu recording session. It works really well. All right, so item number four is similar to item number three, but it involves using a keyboard and using that MIDI enabled keyboard to play music through your iPad. Now, GarageBand works really well for keyboards, just like it does for a guitar. It has simulations of all kinds of different pianos and keyboards and, you know, rock keyboards, grand piano, all an organ, all kinds of stuff. And then you can download more as well, but it comes with a large variety. And what you need to make this work is you need a MIDI to USB cable. Now, I, again, I'll have a link down in the description to one you can use. I've had one for years and years. And again, you just hook it up to your keyboard, plug it into your iPad, go into the keyboard section, and it's gonna recognize it. And then you can select your effects through the iPad. And then when you start playing on your physical keyboard, it'll play through the iPad and you'll be triggering those sounds. Works really well. And uh, it's so much fun to play with. And again, 
for getting uh, quick ideas or if you're just jam jamming with your friends or something like that. Uh, actually, these sounds are really good, so you can probably even use it in uh, some professional capacity as well. I definitely recommend this. It's tons of fun, if nothing else. Item number five is using your iPad as a remote streaming device to play all your PC games without having to sit in front of your PC. Now there's two main ways to do this. One is available right now. The other is gonna be available in just a few weeks and I'm gonna do a full video on that when it's available. The one that's available right now is called Moonlight. Now the caveat to this is you have to have an Nvidia card. What it does is it makes your iPad show up as a game stream enabled device. So when you go into your NVIDIA experience on your computer and hook up a new game stream device, you can hook it up to your iPad and then you can stream all your games to your iPad. And if you have a uh, controller that works on your iPad, you'll be able to control all those games. It actually works really well. Once you make that connection, you'll get a list of all the games that are available to be streamed and you can stream them any, any of them. Uh, the better the Wi-Fi you have, you know, the better the experience is gonna be. Uh, if you're not on AC, 802.11 AC, don't even try this because you'll get a lot of lag uh, and it won't be an enjoyable experience. If you have a, have a solid 802.11 AC connection, there's not a lot of latency, it actually works really, really well. And I can definitely recommend this. It's available right now. If you have an NVIDIA card, you can start doing this today. The next thing that's gonna be available in a few weeks is the official Steam Link app that's gonna be available for iOS. It's available on Android right now. It's gonna be available on iOS and that lets you stream your Steam games over to your iPad and it, that, it doesn't matter if you have NVIDIA or AMD. And again, I'm gonna do a full video on that. So if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so you get notified when I put that up. So there's my top five things that you might not have known you could do with your iPad. Now, not everybody is gonna find use for all of these, but I thought they were kind of unusual and things that I haven't seen a lot of videos about, so hopefully they help some of you. I use all of them from time to time, especially the uh, the remote display, that is a big one, and LumaFusion. Those are two that I definitely use the most. All the other ones work really well, and I do use them on a regular basis. If you haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so and then hitting that notification bell. That'll let you know when I put up any of these other top fives or any of my review or tutorial videos. Uh, also, please come see me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I love meeting new people on those platforms and chatting with them. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks again for stopping by.